Alright, this is Bladed Velvet. I was asked recently how I make my glowy text, and here I'm going to show you how. As you can see, I have my base layer, which is just one color, and I have my text layer, which is, well, just the text. The first thing you want to do is right-click your text layer, click Duplicate Layer, go to the beginning text layer, go to Colors and Invert, unless you I'm going to make the layer up here not visible for the moment um, pretty much you should only invert if you originally had black text if you didn't I'm gonna undo this real quick and show you how to get around that go to the colors and colorize option bring your saturation down to zero and your lightness all the way up to white and click OK and that is still on you should not be on Either way, it'll get you to white eventually. Um, yes. So, alright, go make sure that your base text layer is selected. Go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I usually like to do from 5 to 7, depending on the type of text. If it's uh, thick, bold, or if it is thin like this. It's thin like this. I think I'm going to stick with 6. Um, usually if it's thicker I may go past 7. There we go. And see it gives it kind of a bump in the middle for lack of a better term. Click OK. Go up to this layer. Make sure it's on. Now take this layer go to colors colorize your saturation all the way down to zero and either put your lightness if you chose a dark colored text um, put your lightness up to 75 and if you chose a light colored text put your lightness down to negative 25 and click OK when that's done make sure this layer is selected go to filters map and bump map. <laughs> My computer is a little bit slow today. Just bear with me. <laughs> there we go. Now on this first drop down menu, click the blurred text area. You see that gives it a nice rounded smooth edge. That is fine. You can go as bold as you want or as light as you want. I prefer a little bit of boldness. And you can definitely tell that there's a difference. And all you really need to mess with is the elevation. That's it. None, none of the others. Um, at least until you get used to what you're doing and what each one means. Click OK and you have that. Now on the blurry text to make it really glow, duplicate it roughly two or three times. I'm going to just leave that at three. Hmm, yep I am. Right click and then merge down to make it one glowy layer. Now, you can either use the colorize option, which I'm not fond of for this, or you can do what I'm about to do. Right click new layer, make sure transparency is clicked, click OK, find a color that you want the text to be, considering that's a very purple layout, um, a good yellow A very nice pale yellow would be good for this. And fill the new layer completely. I will usually go down to either multiply or hue depending on the color that I'm turning it into. Um, pretty much scroll through the modes until you find what you want. And we have hue. And you see how it looks on the text only? That's how we want it to look. Right click, merge down. Now the text is yellow, and 
if you have a light colored text you will want a dark colored glow maybe not that dark hmm undo that right click new layer let's go find there we go mm -hmm. oh you no there we go perfect right click merge down and no actually I don't like that I'm undoing that <laughs> oh no redo sorry I clicked it one too many times let's color invert um, that is a little bit bold so all you need to do if it's too bold this is the wonderful thing about glowy text is bring the opacity down just a little bit see because it's too bold there and that looks wonderful and there you have it you have your glowy text even though the colors kind of don't really match that well <laughs> um, do a little color research before you do this